Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to hop on and do an unboxing of this 22 karat gold ring from Malabar. But before I get started, I do want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I usually put out videos about handbags, but recently I've been putting out a lot more videos about jewelry, both from American brands like Blue Nile, as well as Indian brands like Tota Rong, Queen of Hearts, and this one from Malabar. So hopping right in, um, like I said, this is an unboxing from Malabar, which is a big Indian jewelry brand, and I purchased from their online store and got it shipped to me in the U.S. Um, I thought this would be a really helpful video to do, not only to show you what I bought and give you kind of an overview of the item and, and help you understand what it looks like in real life compared to the website, but also just to help you know what to expect if you're a U.S. customer who's ordering from Malabar's online website. Um, so the first thing to note before I like, you know, get into the video is I bought this ring on February 3rd online. I purchased it for $621. Then I had to pay $40 for shipping and $40 for tax. So I paid around $700 total. The uh, somewhat annoying thing is that it took them a while to ship it to me. I got it on March 2nd. And the reason this happened is because they had to ship it from Dubai to themselves in New Jersey and then to me. And this seemed like to me really unnecessary. I paid $40 for shipping, so why couldn't they just ship it directly from Dubai? I'm not really sure, um, but it did end up taking basically a month to get here. So hopping in just a second, it is much later after I filmed this video, and I realized that part of the reason maybe they didn't ship this straight to me from Dubai is because they didn't want me to have to deal with customs, or maybe they got lower customs rates if they you know, ship things in bulk from the Dubai store to themselves. Um, so just throwing that out there, like maybe it was to my benefit, but it would have been nice for them to explain that to me so I understood why it was taking so long. I was also very nervous because there's very little information about the ring on the website in terms of like its dimensions or the thickness of the band or anything like that. And for $700 and the fact that I paid $40 in non-refundable shipping, I was a little worried I wouldn't like it. So uh, just hopping in and unboxing now. Uh, so it's just a simple little cardboard box with an M from Malabar, and this is what the ring looks like. So this is what is called a Navarathna ring. It's nine gemstones in a particular order that represent the nine planets um, in Hindu ideology. So uh, starting from the top left, you have an emerald, which is Mercury. Then you have a diamond at the very top point here, and that is Venus. Then you have a pearl, which is the moon. And then you have coral, red coral, which is Mars. In the middle there, you have a ruby, which represents the sun. Next to the ruby, you have a yellow sapphire on this side, and that represents Jupiter. Then you have a cat's eye down here, and that represents uh, Ketu, which is the descending lunar node. Then you have sapphire here, which represents Saturn. And then a garnet or hesonite here that represents Rahu, which is the ascending lunar node. Um, so the reason, part of the reason that I got this is because my husband actually has a similar ring from his dad, which is right here. So very similar in spirit or in at least, you know, the colors of the stones and things like that. Um, and we thought it would be kind of nice, you know, to, to match our rings. Um, and obviously I did like kind of the symbolism of what the different gemstones mean. Um, his obviously looks much older because it was his dad's ring who, you know, he wore it for a long time. So, um, like I said, I was a little bit nervous about this ring because I was worried that it would be, um, like thin or cheap looking for $700, but I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Um, I will say that the band of the ring is somewhat thin, so it's not like a comfort fit band or anything that you might expect from an American jeweler, um, so I'll be careful like not to bend it just in case. Um, but I do like the the finish of the ring, so the two-tone like finish of the ring where you have that more matte um, gold here and then like a shinier gold around the stones as well as on the band. I think that looks really nice. One thing I will say is I don't know if you'll be able to see it here, um, but you can see a bit of like where they maybe like cut out the top star or something from when they soldered it. Um, there is just a bit of like a difference in color there. Um, so it's not the cleanest finish. Yeah, you might be able to see it better there. 
where you can see there's like a little indent in the matte part of the gold right there by that yellow sapphire. Um, that said, you can't really see it when you're looking from afar. It's just something I noticed as I was inspecting the ring when I first unboxed it. Um, in terms of other things about the ring, um, I think I was just really impressed with the quality of the gemstones. Like you can clearly tell that these are high quality gemstones. They look very clear. They're not cloudy. Um, the ruby is a little bit pink, but that's to be expected. That, you know, indicates to me that it's a real ruby and not just, um, you know, some CZ stone because, you know, pinker rubies are cheaper, which means that obviously they, you know, chose to use the cheaper ruby, but it's at least real. Um, and that's important to me because I think when you buy a lot of Indian jewelry, um, you know, from Indian jewelry stores, they do use CZ or, you know, fake uh, gems in their items. So it's nice to know that these are real. Um, and these are a part of Malabar's uh, Prescia gemstone collection. Um, so, you know, they really do focus on kind of getting good gemstones in that collection. So I'm just hopping back on. Um, after filming this video, I did realize I actually missed the receipt folder that came with the ring. Um, so I did have, you know, like a receipt folder that had just a thank you for Malabar and stuff like that. But inside this folder actually also came an IGI report or identification card that tells you exactly what's in the ring. Um, so I'm covering the QR code and the name, number of the identification report. But if I just move my fingers a little bit, you'll see um, this is, you know, the Malabar Prussia collection, like I was talking about. Like I was saying, it's not necessarily my experience that I know what I'm buying in terms of stones when I go to an Indian jeweler. So it was exciting to see like an actual cert certification. So you can see it says it's a 22 karat gold ring. Um, maybe the diamond weight is 0 0.03 carats. In total, it weighs 2.74 grams, has a pearl, has a natural diamond and has some gemstones. And then the interesting thing is here at the bottom where it says comments, it tells you exactly what the natural gemstones are, which was exciting. Um, I think the gemstones used for Navarethana rings are kind of consistent or standardized. But that said, it's nice to know that it is following, you know, the, the guides I found online of like exactly what stones are used. So this is pretty cool. It's not really what I expected from an Indian jeweler, like I said. So I was excited to have gotten this. And then the only other thing in my receipts folder was my actual like receipt um, that has like all my personal information. So I'm not going to show that, but it's just, you know, the price and all that. Um, and then the other thing that was on the ring was just this tag. And I just wanted to show it to you. I don't think it's particularly interesting. It's very similar to the tags that show up on all Indian jewelry, in my experience, at Indian jewelry stores in the U.S. So you have GW and NW, which I assume are gross and net weight. Um, so 2.92 grams and 2.84 grams. You have a 0.03 there, which I assume um, means something about the diamond, because that matches what was on the... Um, you know, the IGI card. Oops. Um, and then you just have a bunch of like numbers on the back. You just have the item number. Um, so yeah, that was kind of what was on the ring, but I already cut it off because it is many hours later. So yeah, that was an exciting find. Uh, so all in all, I'm pretty happy with this ring. Um, I think the shipping experience was underwhelming to say the least, but the ring itself is very pretty and I'm excited to wear it and match my husband's. Um, so yeah, thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, but otherwise I will see you next time. Bye.